Hey y'all, the oak here, 5150 metal recovery. My partners, Jeff Runnels, HB Prospector, and Jeff McCulloch, we call him Mac. And uh, I got, uh, finally got my thing set up here the way I want it. Today I'm running off a solar panel. Got my uh, Harbor Freight solar panel here. And uh, we're going to be running that. We're running off that today for my pump. Got it wired over here. Just the sun. Got it wired over here. It comes over. And there's my battery. There's my inverter. There's my hookup right here. Kind of jerry rig. Not too big of a deal. Goes over to my pump that's in the in the bin. And we're doing a recirc. Recirc system with a poop tube. tube into a bucket going off of a bucket sluice right here I love this little bucket sluice it's a cool little unit but anyway we're hooked up I probably don't have a full charge of my battery but it's okay it still works really good we're at uh, nine and a half so we're running about nine turn it off for a second this battery was dead when I first put it on so we're doing okay now but anyway, my panning table here, got my, my black sands, my little magnet, loop, cold drink, panning table, uh, snuffer bottle, my other snuffer bottles over there, got some classified material that I've been running, got some more in this pan right here, more classified material here, I think I got this down to, let's see, I think that's the plus, I think that's the plus, 30 of uh, 50. 50. I think that's 50 mesh. Minus 50 right there. Sorry about that. I had to look at my pockets. That's what I'm running right now. So, anyway, my little bucket sluice, I just did a clean out. And it looked pretty good. I was getting a lot of small gold in here. So, um, but this is my setup here. So, I'm going to I'm gonna turn this on. I got a little, I got a little vibrator here that... I kind of like real high high speed vibrator. You can feel it vibrating the vibrating the tube. Now I'm looking in here. I don't know if you can see that. I might. Oh, uh, probably not. I just look at a little piece of gold in here, but I can't see it. Probably didn't get it on the clean out. I've got a little pad up there that I don't. I put in there a little green pad to stop the material from from going back up to the top of the sluice. I just kind of lay it in there. I must have got some gold back in there. But anyway, my AC unit just came on, so it's probably going to be loud to hear, or kind of loud. So I probably have to speak up a little bit. So let's turn this unit on and see what, uh, and see what happens. So I'm going to turn the pump on. Pump's running. Water coming down the water coming down the sluice all the way down the poop tube. Kind of hard to see. Then out the end. So anywho, a little bit of material. Let's see what we end up with. I just use this little thing right now. I didn't get didn't find my spoon so. Turn my vibrator on here in just a second. This bucket sluice is sweet. And I don't know if I got my water. Turn that on. That'll break my surface tension. I do have a little bit of uh, soap in there. I don't I don't buy jet dry, too damn expensive, but if I was getting better gold I'd probably use it, but I'm going to turn this valve up a little bit since my battery is a little bit low. Yeah, there we go. Feel better. Got a nice V right there. I'm 
That's vibrating really nice. I got my notice I already wet my cons or my uh, my material I already got it wet. And I figure it never hurts to vibrate your sluice a little bit anyway. But that's my setup. And should be using a using a spoon or a scoop. My scoop dumps too much in too fast. I don't like using it, so Most of my, when I did my last clean out, most of my uh, con or most of my uh, gold was caught right here in this bucket sluice. It probably went about, most of my gold was right up in about here, the top two thirds. And I did notice some got down here, but it was mostly the real, real fine stuff. That's a long poop tube for a backyard unit. But that's what I run, and it seems to work pretty good. I was getting gold about halfway down. The micron gold about halfway down before so anyway I'm gonna I'm gonna cut away from here um, I might do a part two on my cleanup I'm looking in there to see if I can see any gold right now and I'm not kind of hard to see through the water when the sun was a, when the sun was a little bit different um, I'm seeing it pretty good. But anyway, if you have any comments, you think I'm maybe doing something wrong, my, my slope is wrong, my water speed is wrong, whatever, let me know. Um, looks like I might have a little bit down in here in this very last ripple. <laughs> But anyhow, if you have any comments, if you think I'm doing something wrong, if the water don't look right, or, or whatever, let me know, and uh, see what you think. I like it. It's been holding on to some good gold. Um, I don't know. Here's a pan that I might clean out, but it's really hard. I got a lot of black sands in there. I haven't panned it out yet. But there is gold in there, and it's tiny. I've got gold so small that it's actually filling in the cracks piece right there. Uh, yeah, you can see that piece right there. Piece of gold right there. Washed it away. But the gold is so small that it's actually filling in the little crevices and stuff in my uh, my gold pan. You know how you scour it? You gotta scour it to break it in, get it ready to go mining, whatever. Um, the gold's so fine that it fills in those little cracks. It's just amazing. You can see that piece right there. Where'd he go? It's. I, I gotta. I gotta get some of the magnetics out of here. Oh, there's another piece right there. The sun hits it just right. Anyway, it's, it's tiny. It's small gold, and this is this is doing a good job of holding on to it. That noise is is, is nerve wracking, but um, might have too much of a pitch on this bucket sluice, but eh, I don't know. It seems like it's about right. I'm gonna turn this.
takes the tension off. I'm trying to get the camera right so you can see, but there is some micro and gold in there. It's just really hard to see it with the vibration all the way up here onto the onto the upper sluice so it's vibrating and it's vibrating good. I don't want to hear any comments about vibrators guys so uh, you, can keep, you can keep those comments to yourselves if you like. <laughs> Anyhow that's my uh, that's my solar that's my solar harbor freight solar setup for my pump. Solar goes to a battery, my inverter into the pump. Right now I'm only running at about six, so I had to pump, put all, put the valve up all the way. So probably should let it charge up again. But anyway, that's my that's my that's my setup, guys. Poop tubes are great. They catch the fine gold. I use it mostly as a backup to my bucket sluice. So. Um, I love the bucket sluice. Can't go wrong with that. They're all everything here is drop riffle, so um, as you can see, everything's drop riffle. But uh, shout out to my buddies uh, HB Prospector and uh, Mac. Thanks for everything, guys. You're awesome partners. Can't go wrong. I'll never, uh, I'll never be able to repay you guys enough for everything you've done for me. And, and uh, we've done for each other basically we we got a good crew anyhow uh this is the oak and uh y'all be safe have a great day have a great year and uh i don't know who knows you might want to get a setup like this one day let me know what you think of it uh give me a shout out um like comment subscribe uh, it's going to go up on my YouTube channel. It's going to be public, so have fun with it. All right, guys. I'm out. Late. The Oak. Be safe.